All right, hey, what's up, everybody? So here's the stove that I purchased for this endeavor. It's called um, Kniko, K-N-I-C-O. Um, Cabela's and, and Bass Pro sells these, and then they're also just a standalone company, I think, by themselves. But um, it came with a stove pipe that's collapsible. So this stove pipe here collapses down. And uh, I didn't want to go directly through the roof of the awning. I want to go out the sidewall here. And so what I did was I bought some um, some different elbows here, some stovepipe elbows that, that adjust. So I can adjust into whatever angle I want and then be able to, to, to have a stovepipe, um, a section. I bought a 24 inch section here to go out the wall. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, cut a, a hole in the, the tent because I've got a DIY stove jack here. And so what this is is uh, this this uh, seal right here, you put it on the outside of the tent, cut out the interior portion here of all the tent, and then you've got yourself a little uh, stove jack with a waterproof cover, which is what I'm taking off right here. You've got a stove jack here to where you cut in your hole, and then um, I can put this on the wall out there and then be able just to have this go right through it. And this is welding blanket right here. It's a welding curtain. So this is, and it's, it's coated. So this is like 1800 degree rating, I believe. It's either 1200 or 1800 degree. But I'll be good to go with that. And then when I'm not using it, you know, in the summertime, I can just simply put this over it and it'll, st it'll stick like this. You know, I'll have it on, but the outside of it will be covered. So it'll be good to go. And this stove, this little stove is awesome. It's really lightweight. Only weighs a total of 10 pounds um, on the interior here. It's just a little stove box. Not nearly as big as the one that I had, the firebox that I have in my tent. But I really like this because it's super lightweight. And it's really easy to use. So another thing I like is that the, the spark arrestor on the top here, you can you can uh, change it for like if the, if the wind's coming real hard from this direction and you want to block it. You can go ahead and do that, or you can have a rain cover, you know, if it's raining like crazy, you can have this over the top of it. So that way, if you're not running your stove, the water won't come in and rust out the interior of your stove. So I like this little spark arrestor. This is a nice one. And uh, it came with the with the the, the stove and the, and the stove pipe. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to figure out where I want to put this on the wall. And then uh, we're going to start cutting and get this thing all dialed in and see how it looks. So... I'm excited for this because this is a total game changer for mud season. And uh, this, just having this here, I just having an area in the morning where I can hop out of the truck, warm up, wait for the sun to come up, um, you know, just kind of get my day started in here. I can also put in the yoga mat here and start doing my exercises. So this is really going to be like my heated living room uh, for the, uh, the next two or three months until the summer really sets in. Because here in the high country, we're still going to get some snow which is what I'm, what I'm hoping for. Um, another thing too, is I want to mention up, I'm putting the stove jack down lower on the tent wall here instead of up real high. The reason for that is when it rains, I always angle this, this awning down at an angle to shed the water and same with when it snows. And I don't want the stove jack to be bunched up up there when I start to collapse it. Then at the bottom here, it's easy to keep this tight. And with the kickouts that I have, if you see here on both sides, I've got it to where there's guy lines on the outside pulling on the exterior of the tent to make this area spacious right here so that if there's any wind that comes up, it's not going to hit the side of the stove when it's hot and burn a hole in the side of the tent. Um, I may also take a bit of Reflectix and put it around behind back, back here. Um, we'll see how that, that goes when we get going. But there's enough distance between here and the, the, and the tent wall that even if this thing is jamming and burning real hot, it's not going to melt this tent wall. So we're, we're in good shape with that, especially with the 24 inch pipe. So, um, let's go ahead. And like I said, I'm going to uh, put this up on the, the wall, tent wall there, and we're going to get jamming. Can't wait for this, man. The first burn's going to be awesome.
That's nice. All right, everything seems to be going pretty good. All I need to do tomorrow is go in to town and go to the hardware store and get something better than this rubber um, uh, bungee cord thing that I'm using to hold the stovepipe in place. But I just want to get this first burn done. I did forget to uh, bring the stove outside and do my first burn out outside because it lets off a bunch of gases and stuff like that when, when you do your first burn. And so uh, I've got all the windows open in here and also the vents up top. Uh, just to get rid of all the the fumes, but it's it's I mean it smells fine here. It doesn't smell bad, and it's there's plenty of ventilation, so it's all good. But this stove is 
is uh is really awesome i'm i'm impressed with it it's tiny but it, man i'd say what it is it's really warm it's uh transfers heat really well with this with this steel the way that it is let's see is this still recording all right so, sorry about that it looks like the camera was out of juice but Anyway, uh, yesterday got everything squared away with the stove and uh, today it's Sunday and I was packing up camp this morning and I was like, man, it's a nice day. You know, I'm going to come and jam and do a bunch of hiking today. And then a freaking snowstorm hit that location over there right as I was packing up. So <laughs> I was kind of frustrated with that, but um, it's all good. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and set up somewhere probably... I know, probably in North County and set up the stove and everything and hang out for a couple days and hopefully it'll snow where I'm at so um, if it does then I can get some good stuff on film but I'll I'll go ahead and, and, and film a bunch of the the wood stove and it's it's a great stove I mean it packed down to like the size of a small box and it's in it's in the back of the topper right now and um, uh, it's just sitting on top of one of the well, like my yoga mat but anyway uh, we're gonna go ahead and get some coffee and then jam on up and set up our new camp so uh, we'll catch you up on the next video. Thanks. Come over here, up here. Yeah, I'm here, sweetie. I know. Oh, that up there. Oh, she navigated those cactus real easy. All right, babe. Why don't we go get you some water? Right, there you go, girl. Oh, cool, here's some more wagon wagon marks. You can see them coming like right there. And then coming over here. Oh, then there's our wagon deal right there.